All right, I got my lathe all set up, sort of. See, power drill connected to the table. Yay. I'm gonna first start out by making this. Well, like I said, this is actually two different sized pieces of pipe. One is this piece right here is glued onto the rest of it. So I'm gonna start out by making this section of it. This is a piece of half an inch Schedule 40 conduit piping. It's a rigid PVC, whatever. I've cut it to, I just guessed. I think this is a foot and a half. You can go with two feet if you want. I'm trying to keep it, I'm trying to keep it um, relatively short just because it's gonna be easier to handle on the makeshift lathe. You can use a, um, a longer piece if you want, but you may find it to be a little bit wobbly near the end of it. I have my drill bit. This is what is going to connect it to my drill. Got to stick it in here like that and then duct tape it on. So we're going to lose about that much of it. Which is just fine. The end product only needs that much so we still have a lot of room for errors. I originally made this through trial and error so I'm going to show you that too. Got my duct tape. Yay duct tape. I like duct tape, it's so shiny. Come on. Stop biting my nails just so I can make it keep easier. That didn't work. Alright. First thing you need to do is wrap your you need to wrap your drill bit with duct tape. That's so it will fit inside of the pipe snugly. The more, the more even, the more evenly you can wrap it, the better fit it's going to be, and the less wobble you're going to have on the end product. Still need a little bit more. You don't have to use duct tape, by the way. You can use masking tape if you want, or electrical tape, or you can even hot glue this thing in there if you really want to try and do that. I'm just using duct tape because I feel that it's going to be the easiest to manage. There we go. That fits in very snugly. It's a little bit wobbly, wobbly, but fits in. All right, shove it all the way up here. Now, this piece right here, this white section, that that white section is actually duct tape. I think, yeah, it's duct tape. That was from when I originally built my paintball gun over two years ago. And um, I, I'm just going to leave it on there because it's useful. If you don't have that section of duct tape right there, if you don't have that there or you don't want to make that you can just push it all the way up to there or something or even right there and then duct tape it on but since I have that I'm going to utilize it and just push it all the way up to there and then you need a section of duct tape gotta get this thing on nice and tight so try to pull it as tight as you can without ripping the duct tape and you do that so it gets a nice snug connection on there. There we go. There we go. It's not going to come out. Now it's connected to the drill. How does that look? Okay, it looks alright. Okay. There we go. See? So a little bit. It's a little bit wobbly, but that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay for what I need it for. All right, now. The reason we are lathing this is because we need the we need a section of the pipe to fit into the 
slightly larger pipe that we have, the three quarters of an inch. Tripod's in the way. There, there we go. Okay. We need to, to fit it. Right now, it doesn't fit in there, which is, you know, just great. Doesn't fit. This is a three quarter. So, what we need is the half an inch to fit into the three quarters of an inch. So, let's go ahead and lay that thing on down. Now, let's get it to fit. The spinning. Um, once it actually starts cutting, I'm going to keep doing that and then I'm going to keep checking it against my three quarters of an inch, three quarter inch pipe until it fits. And once it does fit, I'm going to, once I get the size right, I'm going to start moving this thing down along the way. Now remember how my, my pipe was a schedule of 40, you need a schedule 80. Same deal, just keep keep adjusting this and keep doing that and keep checking it against the other pipe until, until it fits. There we go. I adjusted it a little bit, made it just a little bit bigger. See how well it fits inside the pipe. Oh, that's a much, that's a, that's better. What, what I'm trying to go for is um, not a tight fit, but, but not a too loose of a fi fit either. I, I want this, I want this to be able to slide easily in and out of this without much effort, but while still being able to to slide and not actually move around at all. I don't want it to move around that much, but I do want it to slide back and forth. So what I have it at now is uh, pretty good. Like I said, I'm just closing this thing on it as it's spinning. And then I'm gonna start pushing it that way. There we go. It's not very pretty, but it will work. Yeah, there we go. That works right there. Once this thing cools down, I might want to take some sandpaper to it. See how much I got. Yeah, I got a little bit more than I which is just fine. Now there's a little part right here where it's still the original size. I'm just going to buff that out momentarily. There we go. Alright, now that we got this thing cut so it fits inside the pipe. Fits pretty smoothly. I'm going to trim off the end of it just because that's just a little bit too small. And don't need that much. If you're wondering exactly how much you, you should uh, you should cut it back, how much you need, I, I can't say for certain, honestly. I'm not entirely sure. I just chose this length, which is it's about, what, two and a half inches, maybe three inches long, just because that's what I got with my other one. Or actually, the other one's about two inches, so I'm probably going to cut this one back so it's about the same length. I'm just going to try and du duplicate this one. See that? Just a... Uh, so I'm going to cut it back to right about there. Easiest way to cut it back is with a hacksaw. So right. I'm going to go do that. I went ahead and hacksawed it off. See, right there. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a little bit more than I wanted to, but no. Actually, it's perfect. It'll work. Don't throw this piece away. We're going to need it a little bit later on. So if you want to hit this with some sandpaper, mine turned out to be kind of rough, as you can see. I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal as long as I put, as long as in the end product I put a little bunch of grease on it, it should be okay. But if you do yours and you want to make sure you have the end product very smooth, make sure it's just a little, just a little bit bigger 
than you need it so it fits in the pipe snugly and then finish it off with sandpaper. Alright, so now that piece is done. It's almost done. I'm going to have to hit this part, part up with sandpaper. So I'm going to put it on the... Wait, am I going to need to hit it with sandpaper? I say that, but... Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Okay, the next part is to put it back on the lathe and hit up a piece right about here. Just do it, like, right there. I'll show you just there. So I'll put it, I'm going to put it back on the lathe and then see what I'm going to do. There we go. That made my pants feel warm. Alright. And see, I got this area right here. I got this. And then this area. Like I said, I still need to hit that sandpaper. Um, hmm. I need to cut it now, so I think I'm gonna... That worked. That worked pretty well, actually. Well, if I had put it on correctly and it wasn't vibrating so much when it was spinning, it probably would have worked a lot better. But, still worked. Now, where the hell did that piece go? Found it. Fell down behind my computer. Okay. Now, so now here's the little piston. This is what the uh, piston's going to turn out to be. See? Yay! The reason we needed this part right here is so we can put a stopper on the end, like this one does. This one has a stopper. That also helps hold back the spring. We're going to get that off of the, the three and a quarter inch. Yeah, three, qu three quarters of an inch pipe. This is where we're going to get the stopper. It's going to go right there. I'm going to chop it off. Then I'm going to glue it. Glue it on. So, I'm going to go and do that now. Alright. Memory card filled up. So, I replaced it. Now, let's get back to what I was doing. What I was doing was cutting a piece off of this three quarters of an inch pipe to use as a stopper on the piston. Alright, got the stopper. See? Yay! Hooray! Cut two of these out. You're, you'll need a second one later on for the plug. Now, we have two of them. This one is going to be used for this, which is the plug. This is the piston, the plug goes like that. See how the new piston actually fits in the old plug beautifully? So far I'm doing it right. I hope. Now I just gotta glue that thing on. Oh, well, you might wanna debar it first. You know, while we're at it, while we're at cutting it, let's get this white pipe. Whatever this is, this is the uh... I forgot what size this is. Come on, this is a half an inch PEX tubing. So now remember, some of this has to go inside of this. Now obviously it doesn't fit, so we're going to need to sand it down a little bit. But I'm going to cut about six inches of it off, maybe. You might want to cut a foot off of it just so you have extra to play with in case you mess up. I'm not saying that I don't, I'm not going to mess up, I'm just saying if I mess up, I'm going to have to stand up and get it. Okay. La da 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 da. Okay. Well, both of, both of these are about the same size, so I'm just gonna choose one for the plug. Yeah. I suppose it doesn't really matter which way you put it on. This was the very end of the pipe, so this is very flat. Well, this is kind of at an angle because of the way I cut it. I think I might just put the flat end facing 
you know, that way. Might just put the flat in facing like that, just, just cause. I, no real reason. All right. Now, you know, what I probably should have done was check to make sure that my two-year-old all-purpose PVC cement and per all-purpose plumber are actually still good. I didn't actually look into that at all before starting this. Oh well, we shall see. And it is mildly important that you get that you get a um, that you do a good job gluing this because that, that is going to act as a stopper. This is going to act as a stopper, and it's going to have some it's going to have some pressure applied to it. You don't want that breaking up. Okay. Let's see here. The PVC cement is useless. Still smells good though. Well, okay then. And the purple primer is stuck closed. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, primer still seems to be good, so I might as well prime it right now. I don't know if there's anything wrong with priming it ahead of time, and letting the primer dry, and then doing that. No idea. We shall see. Okay, it's all primed. Yay, primer. Primer is my friend. All right, I got it all glued up. Fine. There, better lighting. You see, it's all glued up. Here's the original one. You may notice that this looks slightly thinner than this, and you'd be right. It is, but and that's like I said, it's because I'm using the I'm using the wrong side, the wrong schedule three three quart, three fourths of an inch PVC pipe. This one was designed for schedule eighty. This one's being designed for schedule forty. The only difference is going to be the size right here. So got it all glued up. Pistons now complete. So we're going to set that aside. We'll let the glue dry.